Hi guys, today I'm super excited to talk about a new design tool that's been causing quite the buzz. The name of this design tool is called Motif and some are already calling it the Figma alternative we have been waiting for. So what exactly is Motif? Motif is a new design tool for AI era built for UI UX designers and it's quickly gaining attention as a strong competitor to Figma. It offers a similar collaborative environment that Figma also offers but there are some new features that really makes it stand out and that's what we are going to be looking at in this tutorial. Now let's talk about the features that could make you want to switch to Motif. Before we explore Motif, pricing comes first. The starter plan is completely free. So you have Motif Editor or Limited Personal Files, 3 Motif Files, 30 Days, Version History, Basic Inspection, like it's a whole lot going for free. Then the professional side is going for $4 per month. Then if you choose to like use dev mode only, that goes for $1, which is very, very affordable. Then for organization per month, you have $15. Comparing it to Figma pricing system, we have $15 per month, which is on the high side. Then $45 for organization. Why on motive price list is going for $4 on the professional side, which is very, very affordable for designers. The on screen here looks quite clean. You can see I already started the project using motive. You have the new file option here and the import from Figma. You can actually import direct from Figma into motive. That works well and also sketch. The design interface look really clean and it just resembles that of Figma, like the Figma update before this recent update. Someone in the comment section said, is a Figma clone and should be sued. Well, we are not in the position to choose who sues who. We are just here to explore what Motif feels like. So we have these options where you can add your frame, your shape, your pen tool. I'm not really going to focus on these tools because I think we already know them. The area which I find really, really interesting is this AI section. So I'm going to be taking examples on how you can use this in your design. And trust me, I really, really love this part. The first example I'm going to be showing you guys is called AI reduplication. So this is a profile UI design. Let's assume we are working with so many users data and we want to create so many typefaces of this particular interface. The quick way to solve that is using AI reduplication. So the shortcut for it is D on your keyboard. You will then notice a gradient color shape just right here. All we have to do is just to drag this down and you wait for it to reduplicate. In comparison to the original, which is this one, and this was the one that AI reduplicated for us. If you see, it shows a different profile picture and even a different name. Coming down to the description, you see a different context of description and interest in this reduplicated UI design. It is fully editable, so if I want to change maybe this location, I can go ahead and everything will align by itself. This second feature is going to be a game changer for designers, which is called AI Generate UI. So let's go ahead by clicking that. Let's say you want to create a music app. We can describe our description into this prompt. So let's go with something like design a music homepage, home UI. Let's just go with that, home UI. And let's click generate. So this is the result from the generative feature in Motive. Like I'm really impressed with this because if I was to create this on a normal day, it would take me nothing less than two hours to achieve this whole thing here but motive did it in seconds this is the part i really want to show you guys let's assume we don't like this frame that ai generated for us we can go ahead by deleting it and let another ai do the resuggestion for us which is called ai magic box so let's go ahead by clicking ai magic box you will notice a plus sign on your cursor. We are going to be extending this as if we are selecting a frame in Figma. It's going to bring out a description here of which we are going to write in another prompt. So let's say we want maybe larger cards on this particular place. So we can say something like introduce a larger music card here. As you can see, it brought out so many suggestions for us to choose from. So as we hover through these cards, you will see that it appears on our design. So if it's this one I like, I can go ahead to choose it and it will appear on my design. The next feature I'm going to show you guys is called AI Design System. This is going to solve a lot of problems for designers, example me, because I find it quite brain draining to create a design system. By the time I'm done creating that design system, I'll be a little bit exhausted when I've not even started the main design. So with the help of this AI Design System, it's going to help us in so many ways to create a design system in a matter of seconds. It's going to lead us to this file. So this is the one we are working on currently. Let's check boxes and click start recognizing. What this does is that it's going to create a design system for this particular UI design, AI generated for us. The AI recognition is complete. As you can see here, all we have to do is just to click view now. 
as you can see here it has already selected our star guide for this project if we were to start a music app ui design so it's everything is just becoming easier by the day so we have our typography here we have our button layout components i really like the way they laid out all these buttons if we were to start that project like this is going to be a best fit for us to start with the next one here is trace application so what this does is that as we use this component in our design in our actual design it's going to tell us how many times we have used that particular component so that's it for this video i know you are leaving this tutorial with just one thought on your mind let me just guess if ai is going to replace designers well i got the perfect answer for you which is equipped in this particular video so go ahead and watch this video and see you guys in the next tutorial wait if you're my channel for the first time i would like you to click the subscribe button to see more of the design videos in the future so see you guys in the next video